With that down, let's move into main topic number three. And our third main topic today gets submitted to us by Parker Sheldon. And Parker Sheldon writes, Hey, John. It has just been recently announced that Ethan Hawke has joined the Disney Plus series Moon Knight. Yep, this came out last uh, last week, just after our last John Campion show of the week last week. The Hollywood Reporter has said that Hawke is set to play the main villain in the series. However, it's unclear who he'll actually be playing. Ethan Hawke is an interesting choice, but I'm still excited for this nonetheless. What are your thoughts on this? Who do you think Hawke will play Thanks. All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And uh, yeah, Handsome Hawk. Handsome Hawk. Let me just see if I can bring this up here. Uh, I should have brought this up earlier, but I'll, I'll bring it up now. Handsome Hawk himself has joined Moon Knight. Now, this is fantastic because, number one, they've already went out and got themselves an absolutely tremendous uh, lead in Oscar Isaac, right? They went on, got a tremendous lead in Oscar Isaac, which is great. Ethan Hawke is, if I'm not mistaken, a not one, not two, not three, but four time Academy Award nominated actor. If I, I don't think he's won one yet. Winning an Oscar is very, very hard. But if I'm not mistaken, you know what? Let me just, let me go and check here. Hold a second. Because I got his IMDb page around here. Let me bring this up. Okay. So Ethan Hawke has been nominated uh, for boyhood. He was nominated, uh, for, for writing. Sorry. He, so he's been, uh, nominated for acting Academy Awards twice. I knew he had four Oscar nominations, but two of them were for writing. So adapted screenplay for both before midnight and before sunset, but he's been nominated for training day. Of course, that he was in with Denzel Washington and Denzel Washington won the Academy Award for that. But Ethan Hawke was also nominated for that. And of course the nomination he got for boyhood, the dude is an Oscar caliber performer he's an oscar caliber actor and now he's going to be in moon knight uh this comes to us from the folks at movie web who writes marvel's upcoming moon knight series on disney plus has found its antagonist in ethan hawk as the hollywood reporter reports that the awarded the awarded winning awarded winning that the award winning actor has closed a deal to play the show's lead villain the role marks the first time hawk has appeared in a comic book adaptation in addition to his debut in the marvel cinematic universe he'll be starring opposite oscar Isaac, who's been cast as Mark Spector, the man who becomes the titular crime fighter. So there it is. And Robert Meyer Burnett somewhere is completely celebrating this news. And of course, why not? Because he loves Moon Knight. This is here's one of the interesting things about this. And some people have kind of been bashing on this a little bit because it wasn't too terribly long ago. It wasn't too terribly long ago that Ethan Hawke made some comments, this was a few years ago, made some comments about comic book movies that a lot of comic book fans didn't really appreciate. I never thought he meant them in any sort of offensive way, but he clearly at some point uh, made it known that his personal opinion of comic books and maybe comic book material wasn't all that great. And that's fine. Everybody's allowed to have whatever opinion he wants. He wasn't taking shots at people directly for liking them or anything. But a lot of people didn't quite like that. And now today, today now, we've got Handsome Hawk is going to be in a MCU show that a lot of people are excited about in Moon Knight. Uh, This to me is perfectly fine. What, What this tells me is that, now listen, I already see some people in our own chat board getting upset about that Ethan Hawke. Listen, everybody's allowed to have their own opinion of stuff. And Ethan Hawke has worked in this industry his whole life. And, you know, Conte says, yeah, he didn't really think much of him. But, I mean, what this move tells me, because he's getting tons of work. It's not like Ethan Hawke is hurting for work, right? He's getting a lot of offers to do a lot of things, and he is doing a lot of things. What this tells me is that Ethan Hawke actually sat down and took a real look at the comic book material we've had coming out now. You know, he sees that a Logan movie is getting Academy Award nominations for best screenplays and deservedly so. 
He's seeing comic book movies getting nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards. He's watching these movies and he's realizing, you know what? This isn't what it used to be back in the 90s or the 80s or whatever. This is a maturing, growing, developing genre that is getting better and better and more and more nuanced. And every once in a while, there's a crappy one. I'm looking at you, Bloodshot. Every once in a while, there's a crappy one. I'm looking at you, Birds of Prey and the fabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. Every once in a while, there's going to be crappy ones. I'm looking at you, New Mutants. But every once in a while, yes, there will be crappy ones. But overall... This is a genre that has grown and mature. And for an actor like Ethan Hawke, who at one point didn't like the idea of comic book movies or doing them, the very fact that we've got a guy like that now saying, you know what? I want to be in one. To me, that says a lot about, number one, the maturation of the genre as a whole, because we continue to see the comic book movies, the comic book movie genre continue to mature. But number two, it also speaks to me about the open mindedness of a guy like Ethan Hawke, who at one point was like, I don't like the idea of comic book movies. So he's clearly had an open mind over the last few years, watching them grow and develop and saying, you know what? Yeah, that is something I'd be a part of when really he could be in anything else that he wanted to be in. And he is now, what's he going to do? Who's he going to play? Will Moon Knight pull like a Fantastic Four where they need to get their main villain in in the first movie? Will they play like Batman, uh, Christopher Nolan's Batman, where they don't feel like they have to go for the Joker first early, where they go with a main character? Will they not? All that kind of stuff. I I don't know. And honestly, I don't really care right now. What I do care about is that right now, we've got Oscar Isaac and Ethan Hawke headlining this new Disney plus MCU show moon Knight, which to me is very, very exciting. Speaking of exciting, uh, Matt De- Deedman sends in a super chat badge in the live chat. Thanks for that, Matt. I appreciate that dude. Um, so yeah, listen, people changing their mind, people looking at things, change and evolve, getting new information, new evidence, and then changing their mind is not being hypocritical. Like saying that I don't like, um, I don't know. I'm trying to uh, trying to think of something. I don't like seafood, right? I don't like seafood. But then over a couple of years, I get introduced to a couple of dishes I hadn't tried before that I actually think are pretty good and whatever. And then, then you know, a few years down the line, I say, you know what? I don't mind seafood. Is that being hypocritical? No. It just means at one point in time, you felt one way but you've stayed open-minded as new information and new experiences come to you. It starts to evolve your point of view. And then you have a different point of view. There's nothing wrong with that. People don't understand what hypocrisy is a word that gets massively misused. Hypocrisy doesn't mean somebody changing their mind. Uh, That's not what it means. But, and I think this is great. I think this speaks well of the comic book genre. I think it speaks well of, uh, Ethan Hawke. I'm excited for this. I think this is going to be great. At least we know that. Uh, look, the show may be terrible. The show might be absolutely terrible, but at least we know we're going to get some good performances in it. So I'm excited for that. Anyway, question is for you guys. We've now got a Moon Knight show coming. That's going to have Oscar Isaac and Ethan Hawke. What do you guys think about that? Maybe you're not, uh, maybe you don't think Ethan Hawke's that good of a director or of a actor. I don't know how, but Maybe that's the case. Maybe you're not excited about this. Maybe you are. Jump down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys.